I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin and Don Hall with the I S U P K. I'm the commander of Junior Island, California, man. To so all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The scissors that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The scissors that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was Shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top though. Funny how we see vanity, not the lives lost. Can't be focused on the life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had no life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that T should take a girl straight to ecstasy. No, give me, give me, give me lamentation. Give me lamentation 3 and 22. It was for, it was, it was not for God. by people that did destroy us, man. It wasn't for God, man. I'm trying to tell you, man, it wasn't for God. This man just killed you out, man. Since you slavery, man. I just want people to sit back and take that. No, I ain't taking nothing, man, because I see a shoot a woman in Texas who would fight bullets when, when she says she was pregnant. I see a shoot a black woman in Texas on TV, man. National television, five shots to the woman, man. Who wanna, who wanna shoot a woman? A woman, a man can beat a woman easily, man. All you gotta, all you gotta do is go, 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 grab her. All you gotta do is grab her, man. All you do is go, go grab her, man. You shoot a woman five times? No, man. No. It didn't happen when I watching that, man. I'm a ignorant person too, sir. I'm a ignorant person too, sir. You think I like seeing white people kill my people, man? My brothers and sisters in America, Negroes, in D.C. But I can do still. I got brothers all over town. The Lord for commanding General Hanna, man. I got brothers in Mississippi. I got brothers in Atlanta. I got brothers in Florida. I got brothers in California. I got brothers all over, man. I can take up myself, put a wash car for my head, put my seal on like this, and go to Mississippi right now, New Orleans, right. and I ain't gonna get killed by nobody over there. Right. Because I have to see me with the seal. Oh, that's my Hebrew brother. Shoot him, brother. Shoot him. I got brothers all over this planet, though, man. Right. White man is done. Go. And I got brothers in the UK, in London, in Jamaica, in Trinidad, Mexico, Brazil, all over this planet, man. I have two PK. Tell them where you are. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. What, what, what? It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. More sound price, man, if wasn't for God, white people destroy me, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you, brothers and sisters in DC, if wasn't for God, white people destroy us, man. I'm trying to stay for the white homosexual people, man. They're a bunch of nasty people, man. I'm trying to tell you. And this, these white people who are putting over us now, it's some white effeminate people, man. So why you feminine white boys are putting over us now, man? To be managers and to be just over us. You feminine white boys with shirt and tie on and jacket, but their face shaved. They got shaved face, man. They got shaved face. They shaved out all this. The boost. They're homosexuals, man. Just leave white people alone. Let them die when Christ come back with them 200 million angels to wipe you the planet, man. That's it. That's it. We... It's a lot here. Go on. It's like they are new to like him because his compassions fail not. Keep reading. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, man. The white man is treated evil, man. Come on, man. Why y'all go stop leave us alone, man? Why y'all why you do that to Negroes over here like that, man? I think we dumb, man. You think we dumb? Be the Lord chosen people, man. We're the best in everything, man. You put on the TV, you gotta watch the ball James though. You put on the TV, you only gotta watch the ball James play basketball though. You put on the TV, you only gotta watch my Tiger Woods play golf though. You put on the TV, you only gotta watch everything is Negroes, man. Everything is the best in everything, man. But you put on the TV, you only gotta watch my people. But it's still killing my people, right? And I'm supposed to watch my TV. I see that I ain't be mad about it. But I'm mad about it every day, man. 
I mad about it every day about the white man, man. Because it's a disgusting viol violation of people, man. Violent, disgusting race of people call it the Caucasian race, the white race, the white race. You are violent, disgusting race, man, to tell people to go have sex with man. Good night. Give me, give me Leviticus 20, 2030. Good night, man. This man telling us to go have sex with man. Master, master, master telling us to go have sex with man, people. Master, the white man, that's master, man. That was our master in slavery, man. To hell with you now, man. To hell with the white race. Brothers and sisters in DC, man. To hell with the white race. To hell with the white race. You're the devil in the Bible, man, and you're evil, man. All your white people are evil telling me to go have sex with man. Is you nuts? Is you nuts to tell me to go have sex with man, man? <laughs> Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind. If a man do what? Lie with mankind. If a man do what? Lie with mankind. Read that up. As he lieth with a woman. How you lie with a woman, brothers? How you lie with a woman? You lie down to have sex with a woman, man. Right. But here comes this white nasty, stinking white man in America telling me he goes to go have sex with man. You the devil in the Bible, man. Right. Hey. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them do what? Both of them have committed an abomination. Do my line don't have sex, do what? Committed an abomination. Anybody know what's the penalty for abomination? Anybody know what's the abomination in the Bible? Christians, Christians, you don't go to church every Sunday for the past 200 years. What's the abomination in the Bible? What is, what is this? What's the penalty for that? The penalty for abomination in the Bible is death. When two man lie don't have sex, you're either gonna catch AIDS, right? And you're gonna die, man. If you don't die, lie down having sex or catching AIDS, the Lord gonna kill you because the Lord ain't having that. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Get fire. We got fire already. Hey. They surely, like you. They shall surely be put to death. Two more lie down together. Surely what? Shall be put to death. Two more lie down having sex. Surely what? Be put to death. That's what going on up here in the cornfield. If the Lord engages, if the Lord engages, the Lord send you home after you don't have sex with a man. You're going in the house and I don't have sleep. You might do yourself get up. You might be dead in the sleep, man. You might be dead in the sleep. Play with the Lord. Play with the Lord and tell you go to go have sex with man. The Lord chosen people. Mine ain't come back two weeks from now. My Christ ain't come back two weeks from now. Wipe you out, man. Wipe the Caucasian rest of people out. Drop that up. Drop that up. Give me Jeremiah 5, 127. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 7, 27. And this is the problem, man. This, 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 look, this group does that. It just won't destroy our people, man. This won't destroy our people, man. White supremacy, Christian church. White supremacy, Christian church, destroy our people, man. Let comes the white man, poor white Jesus, and tell us it's Jesus. You go follow that for 500 years, man. Over 400 years. And up to now, they still believe in that white Jesus is Jesus, man. Them dumb Christians in the Christian church. Them do the great Christians in the Christian church. They got peanuts in the head, man, or a little pebble. They got a little pebble in the head, dangling wrong all over their goddamn head, man. Them Christians in the Christian church. I'm trying to tell you, man, they got pebble in the head, dangling wrong all over. That's right. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 27. I have set thee for, up for a tower and a fortress among my people. What a lot do? I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people. See that up? That thou mayest know and try their way. That's right, man. That's right. Y'all hear that? That's talking about the churches. Where you at, Jay Mawa? That's it. That's them churches to talk about. Hey. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 27. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. That's talking about that church. Let's talk about churches, brothers. Brothers and sisters, read that one more time from the top. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 27. As a cage is full of is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Deceit, lies, wickedness, man. Talk about a Christian church. The houses, a house of God is what? A church. A house of God is what, brothers? A church. They talk about a Christian church full of deceit. The lies, deceit meaning lies, man. Lies, man. Pull little white babies up and jump by the churches and talk about little white babies with rings naked. White people crazy, man. They pull little white babies with rings on top of the churches, right? But they're butt naked. They're mad, man. They're crazy, man. Then they make a little cartoon book. They make a little cartoon book for our little 
six year old who go to school with two boys. And, and, and then the cartoon saying, why, ma why, why mommy had two daddies? Or why baby had two daddies? Why people make a cartoon book for our kids with two little boys out? Man, like the one of married men, they destroy our little babies. But Christ don't come back and kill them before they do all that, man. Before they destroy my little grandkids and my grandchildren for my son, Christ don't come back and kill you, man. Because I have a son 21 years old. And they know where why people want to not go for my son. And I'm just serious, man. Then, Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. That's what it is, man. The teacher lies in the church, and all of a sudden they become wax rich. Often lies in the Christian church, man. Filthy rich, filthy rich, man. These white devils get filthy rich, man. Teaching lies in church, man. Like that white Nazi stinking Jesus on the ground, day. Like that white Nazi stinking Caesar boss on the ground, day. Fool me, man. My mother, them, my mother, them, didn't you tell, tell me Christ was black. I had a come to America, find the truth in Harlem, New York. Who, 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 real or so? Who? I see Christ is black. I said, God damn. You mean to tell me all the time I grew up in Trinidad and my grandmother and, them and my auntie and them couldn't open up this book, Crystal Clear, and tell me Christ is black? Something wrong, man. The, the, the Christian church. The Christian church. Hmm. They are waxing fat. They shine, yay. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. Chop that. Let's get some more. Give me James. Game James 1.22. James 1 and 22. Let's get some more. We're crushing white people today. You have to walk by here and go in the house and say, ah! Them niggas already know we the devil. Them niggas in the Bible already know we the devil. You have to walk by here and go in the house, man. And dream about that. Dream about Christ coming back and kill you. You know, play with white people around here. Not with me. I can tell you that straight up and down. I don't give a damn about the Caucasian race. You hear that? I don't give a damn about the Caucasian race. Everybody hear that? And I know that. God hear that too. And he's happy. He laughs right now. But I say that. He laughs right now. Because God don't give a damn same speed. I can pull all our scriptures. I can pull all our scriptures here. Go, go, go. James, I'm James. trying to tell you, man. We are lost to follow in this Bible, man. Lost to follow. One of the Lord to do to be seven and three. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. One of the Lord to do me. Seven and three. Go, go, go. We have rules to follow in this Bible, man. Rules to follow in this Bible, man. Let me see where you at. Let me see where you at. Seven and three. Water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse, verse three. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Most time, Christ, God say don't marry no white girl. Not my words. Not this brother's words here. God say don't marry no white girl. Did you read? Thy daughter. Thou shalt not give unto his son. Thy daughter, don't give your daughter to no white man. Don't give your daughter to no white man. Read. It's not God. Nor his daughter shall not, like it, shall thou not take unto thy son. No, you, you, have a, you have a son, make sure he bring no white girl in the house. Because marriage in the Bible is when a man have sex with a woman. That's marriage in the Bible. So you bring a white girl in the house and they go and have sex with she, you marry to that white girl. You marry to that white girl, man. That's why God tells you to give them to their sons, man. And don't marry to no a white girl, man. Why? Right? One of the reasons why, too, they're going to stop you from falling God. They're going to turn you away from falling God. Because some white girl going to want to take it. You marry that white girl, she want to take it to some white restaurant to sit down where white people eat. And all of a sudden, they're going to eat some vile, disgusting food. You're going to be you're going to order some vile, disgusting food in the restaurant. Why? Because you're with a white girl and she carrying a white restaurant. So now you're going in there as a lot of chosen people. You're going to need some vile, disgusting food. That's stopping you. But man, child, break down. That's stopping you from serving God. That's stopping you from serving God, man. Going to white people restaurant, sit down and eat some vile, disgusting food, man. Crazy, 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 man. Check out these people, man. Walk along here with a chest puffed up, like y'all are somebody, man. Y'all trying to destroy the Eagles, man. That's all white people do. Walk around the big old dirty shirt, and they don't iron their clothes, you know. They just not iron their clothes. Check them out there walking. The clothes all wrong full up. The t shirt wrong full up. The pants wrong full up. Tight ass pants are wearing. Look like homos. There's a Slacky, slacky. Let's go, let's go, let's go. King Isaiah 311. Give me Isaiah 3 and 11 now. Because I'm out here. I'm out here and I'm bored. I'm bored. Thank you, brother. 
Thank you, brother. I'm out here and I'm about it. About my people, Negroes, Negroes, Westinger, Haitian. I love my people, man. I love my people. The white man shoot a woman in Texas. Five shots, man. Five shots, man. Five shots, man. So when, so when, when, when black police gonna be doing the same, man? When black police gonna be doing the same? Freeze, freeze, freeze. Isaiah 311, uh, get that scripture, man. Get that scripture fast, uh. Isaiah 311, please. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. What, what? Woe unto the wicked. Any Christian out there know what the word woe means? The word woe means destruction. So it says destruction unto the wicked man. The white man. The white man is the wicked in the Bible. He's a homosexual too. He's a lesbian too. Free. That's right, that's right, that's right. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. Meaning what? The white man are once in a death on his hand, man. 100 million natives in the people. 99 million Negroes. The man had death on his hands, man. So if you see who are coming from God, it's going to be just, man, and righteous, and it's going to be devious. It's going to be devious. It's going to be fire and brimstone, nuclear war. Coming to burn you, you're going to burn stuff up like this. And you turn to ashes like this, and somebody just touch you like this, and you super down and just fall along on the ground. Right, right, right. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. When Christ come back, he's going to burn these people up. Not my words, man. Not my words, man. This God was man, he gonna burn white people up and turn them to stumble, man. And that's righteous, that's righteous. I just told you, man, I see the shoot a black woman in Texas on TV, lying down on my bed, man, lying down on my bed, what's that? I couldn't take it, man, I couldn't take it, man. Do you think I just go outside with my machetes on my sword? I look for a white person and chop them up. And the reason I ain't gonna do it too, because I had this knowledge of the Lord, man. God said don't touch him. God said don't touch him. But it hurt me, man. It hurt me to see that somebody shoot a woman, man, five times, man. Man, get to America, get to the so-called white race. Right. Get to America, get to the so-called white race. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jeremiah, it's like Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Most sound Christ. Give the Lord a clap for that. Who understand that scriptures? Give the most a clap, man. If you can understand what I say today, man, you're supposed to feel good in your heart. Right? Jump that up. Jump that up. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Just like war. Give me Acts 5. 5 and 30. Give me Acts 5 and 30, man. Okay? Okay? You know, pay around by people, man. The Lord raised up people out there, messengers of God. I am a messenger of God, man. Okay? I am a messenger of God. I only come out here to teach my people. The 12 tribes of the nation and the children of Israel. If you listen on the sign there, I am a messenger of God, man. So you got to step up here and listen to me. Right? Because this knowledge I got, it didn't come from no Christian church. It didn't come from all the day man, man. It didn't come from no Christian church, man. It didn't come from no other day man, man. Who God all day, man? General Yana. That's who it come from. The leader of my school. The leader of my school for three hours now, this knowledge, I'm, this knowledge like this. To just tell you the honest truth. I cross anything. I slaughter Christians. If you want to, if you want to debate, let's come along here. I'm going to slaughter you in front of everybody right there and make you fall out of the tongue. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Acts chapter 5 verse 30. The God of our fathers. The God of who? The God of our fathers. The God of who? The God of our fathers. Be that up. Raised up Jesus. Who you raised? Raised up Jesus. Who you raised? Raised up Jesus. Be that up. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. What do you do? Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Be that up. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. To do what? To be a prince and a savior. To do what? For to give repentance to Israel. Go to everybody. To Israel. The Chinese. To Israel. The Arab. To Israel. The white man. To Israel. Messiah and Christ, brother. Do you all listen to that or what? Do you all listen to that? To Israel, man. To Israel, no body else. Okay? Israel in the Bible, Jacob name a change to Israel. Jacob had 12 sons. The Lord formed 12 tribes with Jacob's sons. That's the 12 tribes of the nation of the children of Israel. Do you all get that? Simple thing, man. Just simple. The Christian church and them is dumb, man. The Christian church is dumb, man. And white people is a bunch of dumb white people, man. Hmm. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. And what? And forgiveness of sin. Oh, Christ, man. That, that's the thing. Now, the, 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 
the Mormons, it's our, it's our, our organization called the Mormons. They have a little blue Bible where they make. White people make a little blue Bible. Inside the Bible it says, the Lord, we was white and the Lord make us black because we sin. In the Mormons Bible, the Mormons make a Bible. The Mormons make a little Bible, white people, right? And inside the Bible it says, the Lord, we was white, talk about Negroes. We was white and the Lord make us black because we sin. These white people out of hand, man. These white people sick, man. I'm telling you, man, they're sick. They're trying to, they're trying to fool me, man, and switch up everything, man. These white people sick, man. Take your woman's Bible and go shove it, man. Take that little Bible, little Bible and make and go shove it. It can't compare to this King James Version, man. They never compare to the Lord's words, man. Never compare, man. Him have God exalted his, with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for, for, for to give repentance to Israel. Drop that. Drop that. Give me Isaiah 1 and 16. Give me Isaiah 1 and 16. Drop that. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. 39 and 22. Get that one first. Ezekiel. Prophet Ezekiel, man. Another black man in the Bible. All the prophets in the Bible is black. Lamentation 4 and 8. Their vestige is blacker than the coal. It's talking about all the prophets. Their faces, their faces is blacker than the coal. That's what the word vestiges mean. Their vestiges is blacker than the coal. It's talking about their faces. Their faces is blacker than the coal. All the prophets in the Bible is black. I don't know where the white man comes with and talk about white people is prophet Moses. Make Moses white and all that. I don't know where he's coming with, man. All the lies is done, man. Try to stop it now. Because everybody knows you're the devil in the Bible and you Lucifer and you mankind and you the wicked, man. Everybody know that, man. Right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Yeah, and twenty. Yeah, Ezekiel 29. Ezekiel 29 and 22. You get it, you get it. Go, go. Ezekiel 39 and 22. Okay? Everybody know who white people is already, man. And I teach my son who is too. Uh, he's 21 years. He called me the other day. He said, Daddy, you know how I went on an interview? I said, yeah, a white man interview you? He said, yeah. I said, you know, you're going out in the world and work now, right, son? He said, yeah. I said, don't bring no white girl around me. Don't bring no white girl around me. Right. He said, no, Daddy. No, Daddy. You better say, you go bring no white girl around. I teach him everything. Right. 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 Right.